All right, so we just saw you get taken away, now you're back. Who are you? What, what was that all about? Well, my name is Mark. So I just been voice for the voiceless. Right now, when we me and you speaking, there's genocide going on in my country, which is, that's what we present this one. And both the athletes are from my country, specific from my area. So they're not able to see their family, uh, their sisters, their fathers. So I'm just telling them, uh, you, you're okay, you're good, you did this. So there is no internet, there is no phone, there is no, there, those two athletes, they just connect with their family. So I'm just been here to support and be voice for the voiceless. That's all. Not I'm trying to be famous or something. Just to be a voice for the voiceless. This is the Tigray conflict. Yes, I'm from Tigray. And in that race, Latessabet and uh, Gudaf are both Tigray, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And so for the people who might not be as familiar, they haven't been able to see their families for like the last couple of years, is that right? Yes, right. right. And so I, where did the idea to do this come from? It just came to me. I didn't plan it. I mean, I was working so hard when this is happening, you know, trying to support my, my family, my people, but I never get a chance to be a voice, you know? And I see this is a good chance, you know, to, to, to let the world know, you know? So, especially for them, you know, they cannot speak, they cannot say whatever they want on the media because, you know, they are athletes, right? So, that's what I was trying to do. So you ran out there, what did you do? What was the first thing you did? I kissed her feet. Why? She deserved that. I kissed her feet um, on, behalf, on behalf of the, the whole Tigran people. Because they can, they're not able to see her as well. You understand? So for, for her being Tigray and winning this all gold medals, you know, she, she deserves, it's like a message from the people to her. Okay? So make sure you get it right. Why is this a little emotional for you? It, like I said, it's very emotional because when we're speaking, there is people dying right there, over there. Right now, at this moment. That's why it's very emotional. It's, it's, I mean, I cannot even explain it. I don't have a word to explain everything that's happening back home. So that's, that's all. And so then you get taken away, they put you down in the tunnel. What happened there? I just jumped. I jumped and I start running. All I want is to kiss, to kiss her feet. And then that happened, you know? I try to, to stay over there as much as I can. They chase me, they cut me, and they've been nice to me. They let me go, so. Did they give you a warning or something? What happened? Yeah, next? they say, I used to live here in Oregon, so I told them my story. You know, I, mo I came from Texas all the way here for the event, so. Just for this race? Just for this race. You made it work. You yes, made sir. it work. Yes, sir.